Hi guys, today we are dealing with another topic in pharmacology that is emetics and anti that is the drugs inducing vomiting and preventing vomiting. First of all, what are emetics? Emetics are drugs which cause vomiting in animals. Like if at all they have ingested any poison, means uh, via vomiting. We can expel the poison and save the animal from. So, emetics are used at some times. And what are anti emetics? Anti emetic drugs which suppress the vomiting. If the vomiting is uh, very much in case of dogs and cats, often we use anti emetic drugs which decrease the sensation of vomiting and also suppress vomiting. They are commonly used in cats and dogs. Actually, they block the vomiting center or vomition center located in the brain and also they block the chemoreceptor trigger zone. So now we can check the physiology of vomiting. What is actually vomiting? Vomiting is the involuntary forceful expulsion of contents of stomach or expulsion of ingested poisons or undigested food particles to the mouth by the mechanism called emetic reflex. Actually, the brain is controlling the emetic reflex or the chemoreceptor action of emetic center. In brain, particularly in the brain stem, in the middle of Langata, we find the vomiting center. It contains actually muscarinic receptors. It contains muscarinic receptor and the several receptors. And whenever they are stimulated by the presence of chemicals in the blood circulating blood they will trigger vomiting close to the vomiting center near middle of blanket of brain is another area which is mainly controlling the actions of vomiting center it is called chemoreceptor trigger zone ctz or crtz it gets triggered by chemicals or toxic agents that are present in the blood. Actually, the chemoreceptor trigger zone is located outside the blood brain barrier. So, they come in contact with the circulating blood levels in the brain, and the toxins can be easily identified by the receptors present over the CTZ. CTZ has mainly dopamine 2 receptors, D2 receptors, and 5HT2, 5HT3 receptors. Actually, the chemotherapy that means the therapy by using chemicals or drugs it actually triggers the CTZ. The chemoreceptor trigger zone is stimulated and it produces its action related to the drug action. Whenever the circulating chemical stimulates the CTZ, it will then stimulate the vomiting center through muscarinic action that leads to emesis reflex. That is the actual physiology. Blood brain barrier is the barrier preventing action of circulating substances to the brain or the brain receptors. So, CTZ acts as very fastly with circulating chemical toxic agents in blood. Now, we are going to discuss about a different motion sickness. Almost everybody have experienced motion sickness. And motion sickness is very common sickness in people and actually cause comes from the inner ear. Bony structure called labyrinth is made up of vestibule, a structure for balance in the space. Whenever they get disturbed, uh, they send signals to the CTZ. The CTZ sends signals to the vomiting center or emetic center. Then emetic sender induces the action of MSS. From here, actually electrical signals are sent to the brainstem via vestibular cochlear nerve and the signals are sent to the specific area called vestibular nuclei which is located on the pons of brainstem. I will be showing the picture so everything will be clear. Vestibular nuclei contains electron receptors and muscarinic receptors. So, Whenever vestibular nuclei are stimulated during motion sickness or during motion morning sickness also, signals are sent to the CTZ. CTZ carries the signals to the vomiting center via its muscarinic axis. So, 
so vomiting sender start the vomition activity or the yeah, then they give the message to the muscles to start vomition and the sphincters related to the gastro intestinal another point is the emotional factors often whenever see whenever we see the garbages like when they are having a very foul smell repulsive smell or repulsive sight uh, the signals are made and they are sent to the higher brain center and this passes to the vomiting center so whenever we see any dead body or this carcass have been dead for past many days we have got a repulsive sight or repulsive smell then the electrical signals are made and they are sent to the higher brain center and thus they are passed to the chemoreceptor trigger zone and they are passed to the vomiting center so next one enterochromaffin cells present in gastrointestinal lumen secrete serotonin these serotonin are sensitized by the vagus nerve and via vagus nerve the information comes to the vomiting center by the nervous system so actually we are going to the mechanism by which the emesis occurs the lower esophageal sphincter relax the message for the lower esophageal sphincter to relax comes from the serotonin produced in the gi by the enterochromaffin cells so diaphragm contracts abdominal muscles contract so intra abdominal pressure increases so the epiglottis closes so that the propulsing foot will not go to the lungs and will not create aspiration pneumonia the foot comes out that is what we call vomition so if you have got a diagram here so oh, see the motion sickness they can produce signals and send to vestibular nuclei vestibular nuclei can sense this via its receptors they send the message to the ctz via receptors the ctz induces vomiting via vagus nerve to stomach or stomach to vagus nerve then emotional factors repulsive smell repulsive sight they coordinate the signals to higher brain higher brain to vomiting center directly and the poison the poisoning in case of poisoning the cytotoxic chemicals concentration of cytotoxic chemicals increases in the blood within no time so the circulating blood reaches to ctz since ctz is outside the blood brain barrier it can sense the circulating higher level amounts of toxins so it sensitizes and give information to the vomiting center via vomiting the body tries to expel the poison so now we are going to deal with emetic drugs emetic means what whenever we have got poisoning we will be giving emetic so emetics are mainly centrally acting and reflex acting or peripheral acting central acting emetics or central emetics they stimulate the chemoreceptor trigger zone stimulated by dopamine histamine and alpha 2 agonist and 5 ht so apomorphin is given dopamine agonist cns excitation in cats is a side effect the next drug is xylazine they are alpha 2 adreno agonists they also can cause sedation and hypotension peripheral emetics they irritate the pharynx or gastric mucosa and they cause increased level of serotonin in blood that leads to vagus innervation and vagus passes the messages to the vomiting center the main agents are sodium chloride sodium bicarbonate copper sulfate next the mixed action sometimes it can have central action or it can have peripheral action this is syrup of ipecanoa now we go to the anti-emetic drugs anti-emetic drugs are used to prevent vomiting or suppress vomiting or suppress the vomiting sensor or abolish the vomiting sensation the main action is block the vomiting center from inducing the message to vomit or block the chemoreceptor trigger zone so that no message or induction of vomiting will be passed to the vomiting center they are mainly used in cats and dogs and rarely used in houses so the classification we can move to the classification of anti emetic first of all the 5 ht3 antagonist actually 
the serotonin receptor present in the vagus nerve and in the chemoreceptor trigger zone mainly creates the message or the impulse which is passed down to the vestibular nuclei whenever we block the 5-HT3 receptor so no sensation of vomiting will be given to the vomition center block the vagal efferent from the gut block impulse to CTZ actually the main drug is on Dan Cetron, Dolacetron, Granny Cetron. Almost all Cetrons are 5H3 antagonists. So you can use it as a mnemonic and not used in motion sickness. They have no role with the vestibular nuclei. Now, batch 1 antagonists. We have got the knowledge that almost these vomiting centers, CTZ, everything has got H1, H2 receptors all over there. So they block H1 receptors on vestibular apparatus. And block H1 receptors on the vomiting center so that no more histamines can be sensitized by the vomiting center. So, anticholinergic action will be there. If at all cholinergic action will be there, there will be prokinetic action. Here, since H1 and H2 are blocked inside the brain, anticholinergic effect. Anticholinergic means it will not enhance digestion, but it will induce vomiting. Mainly used in motion sickness. Yeah. This drug, meclizine, cyclizine, they are used in motion sickness in human medicine. Diphenhydramine, promethazine, these are examples. And the side effect is xerostomia, that means dry mouth because anticholinergic action, drowning due to H1 receptors in the brain, and sedation due to H1 receptors, antagonist activity in the brain. Now we move to the actual anticholinergic drug. They were H1 antagonist, but they had anticholinergic action. The anticholinergic drugs, that is scopolamine and hyoscine, they are used to control motion sickness, or they can be used as drug of choice in motion sickness. They block afferent nerve from the vestibular apparatus and vestibular centers. Often never used in, I think, veterinary medicine. Now we move to D2 antagonist. So the dopamine receptor present over the CTZ is mainly acting as a vomiting inducing receptor. So, D2 antagonization will lead to anti vomiting action or anti emetic action. Very important block D2 receptor of CTZ. Anti histaminic and anti cholinergic synergism also there. But they can cause extra pyramidal symptoms, extra territorial symptoms. Used in vomiting due to dry, drug induced vomiting. That means, if at all we are having drug induced vomiting or any systemic infection which leads to vomiting, we can use these drugs. So, prochlorperazine and chlorpromazine are the main drugs, not used in motion sickness. Also, endorphins and substance P are blocked in the brain. NK1 receptors are blocked, which lead to the decreased level of vomiting pain. Also, whenever we are vomiting, we get pain, right? So, the pain has to be decreased. So, the main drugs used to block NK1 receptors to decrease pain are osaprepitant and aprepitant. Used in delayed emesis in chemotherapy. Yeah. Now, the prokinetics. Whenever prokinetics are given, the gastrointestinal downward movement increases. So, make gastric emptying fast, there will be no gastric undigested food there. So, the metaclopramide and domperidone are mainly used as prokinetic. And metaclopramide, there is C in clopramide, so this is CNS related. And domperidone P, so it is peripherally related. And cannabinoids. Cannabinoids and adjuvants truck means glucocorticoids. They are used to prevent anti-inflammatory action. And benzodiazepines used as sedatives, psychogenic pain, decreasing drugs. And the cannabinoids, they are never used here because they have dependence problem. And they also cause tachycardia at a high alarming rate. Thank you.